Yo, what's poppin? So we recently did a video on Magmortar, and now we must do justice to Electivire and conquer the OU tier once again. Before we get into it, I'd like for you to leave a comment and tell me what was your favorite evolution from a Pokemon that was Gens 1 to 3 and evolved into something else in later Gens. I'd like to know. For me, I'd say Pillowswine and Mamoswine was definitely up there for me. Or just leave a comment to support as I will be reading all the comments. Also, I very much appreciate the super thanks from the last vid. Thank you all for adding more fuel to the fire, known as my heat creations, and the support truly means a lot. If you're watching this video and you haven't already subscribed yet, I encourage you all to do so so you don't miss out on the absolute heat content and assist our journey to 100k, which hopefully we'll get there one day, but I, I have faith, I definitely do. With that being said, let's hop into the team. So, first mod here with the AV Electivire, that's the set that I want to run because we can actually tank some hits potentially from certain mods, and we got the Rock Tome of course for the Volcarona, which will Oko the offensive ones and Tuikyo the bulky uh, Volcaronas, but we don't take too much damage back from those with AV. And so, you know, Thunder Punch, so we don't take a lot of recoil from Wild Charge, keep this thing nice and healthy. But it's still really powerful. And I wanted to run a Chinese EV spread on this, but um, these are, I think, this is probably the best EV for the set because with 282 speed, so actually, well, let me just say, first off, I started with 333 HP. Like, that was my, my baseline. And whatever EVs I had left, I put it into stats. <laughs> That's so I had to start off with this. Then I had enough speed. So after Rock Tome, we're faster than Dragapult. So that could be pretty useful. And the attack, everything left into attack because look, it's a, so it's a jump point here. But with this attack, actually, I think we can um, destroy certain mons with Ice Punch and Earthquake. I, oh, I think, no, this is the EV spread that I had to fully Oko Volcarona, the offensive ones. But I'm pretty sure it will also destroy a bunch of other things as well. And I do like this a lot here. So the next mon we have is going to be Umbreon. And Umbreon is actually um, really nice to heal up Electivire, remove any kind of status, like Burns, for example, could be pretty useful from Scald Burns. Just keep it healthy overall, since Electivire is not going to be able to recover. Um, we have Rillaboom for the nice passive recovery on Electivire. And also, fun fact, with Grassy Terrain up from the Grassy Surge, we're able to tank an Earthquake from Defensive Lander's T and potentially knock it out with Ice Punch after going for another Ice Punch. Um, and this set actually will destroy Buzzwool with the Acrobatics, which I think is much needed for Electivire since we're not running Flamethrower or anything like that on this specific set because I wanted to run Rock Tomb for Volcarona specifically. Aegis Slash is a nice uh, nuke with uh, Shadow Ball. I'm running Timmy so that we can actually be faster than Adam and Bisharp uh, and hit it with close combat potentially if they don't Sucker Punch. Dragonite is for things like Rillaboom, Kartana, or Shifu. It's a good defogger. And finally, Specs Volcanion, which is an, a nice water immunity for the team. Good fire type, destroys Ferrothorn and things as well for Electivire and other kinds of annoying Pokemon. No Stealth Rocks on the team because I don't think I really need it anyways, since uh, I'll be defogging for Volcanion and stuff, so um, not really needed. I found I found this team to work just fine as is. And that's going to be the squad, so let's just go ahead and hop into our first game. You already know what we got to do, right? We got to make this Pokemon put in the finest of work, and we have options for doing just that here. So I'm probably going to lead with Electivire right off the bat because we could literally um like either i lead electivire or i lead volcanion volcanion is actually not a bad lead i might lead with that actually just to kind of keep electivire i think electivire is a really good mon like mid game like not too early but whenever you bring it out it puts in work like they don't really have a, a truly safe switch in other than maybe zapdos if it's bulky Alright, so the game has begun. They lead Zapdos here. I'm immediately going Electivire. I think is what I gotta do. And we get the speed boost. That's what I like to see. Now, let's go ahead and Thunder Punch. This thing is the play. Oh, sorry, not Thunder Punch. Ice Punch is what I meant to say. Um, doing some good damage here, which is what you love to see. And we go with Dragonites. As they get rocks up, they don't even... They're not even worried about that, which is crazy. Should have defogged here, but that's fine. I'll take it. Always potential for a freeze as well. <laughs> Just what I love to see. So we get the defog and then we can go Aegislash here. And Shadow Ball. How did I call the freeze? Like I've literally been getting a lot of freezes lately too, which is nice. 
So this thing should hopefully get destroyed. Yeah, goodbye. So he trends in now. All we gotta do here is, I, I believe, go into Volcanion. As they Toxic, we get a big Steam Eruption off here on something and it's not going to take it well at all. So Zapdos is going to take a ton of damage. Look at that damage. That is clean, clean damage. Um, just going to Steam Erupt again. I could also go like Devire here. I think I'll Steam Erupt again in case they Roost, but they Volt Switch. Okay. So something else is going to take a lot of damage. And because this is so weak now, um, Electivire can really just put in the finest of work. So my thing is dead, which is fine. Um, also, Rillaboom puts in a lot of work too. So what we can potentially do here is go into Rillaboom and I think just Grassy Glide here is the play. Just because I think it'll it'll get rid of Zapdos anyways, right? It's at 23. We don't want him to get a U-turn out into Lele. Even though I guess it's frozen too, so maybe we just <laughs> maybe we just Swords Dance up. Um, even though this thing is still alive, it's whatever. So Zapdos is in and now it's dead, which is beautiful. That's gone. So definitely fortunate with the Lele, but that's, uh, yeah, unfortunate for him. We just Drain Punch here now. And I don't know why they knocked off because I have my Grassy Seed consumed, so Sacred Sword would have been the better play. And looks like a Rillaboom destruction here after Electivire got the Ice Punch off on um, Landers. Good start. Love to see those Ice Punches firing off on the on the super effective Mon. And because it only took like 40 something, I knew it was going to be Fizz Def and Aegis could just destroy it when it came in. But unfortunate for the Freeze. Um, I think they're going to lead Mew, so we're just going to Shadow Ball turn 1. And this thing should be dead if it's not sashed, and it is not sashed, so it's dead. Just what you love to see. So Volcarone is in now. You already know what we gotta bring out, right? Like, at this point in time, we gotta bring out the Electivire here. Flamethrower doing 49, Rock Tome doing 85. Okay, that's pretty good. But this thing is still alive. Um, so unfortunately, we get knocked out here. This is definitely a bulkier set. So we definitely have to go Age of Slash and Shadow Sneak now. And so Volcarona should be dead. I do, I do get burnt, which is like whatever. I don't really care about that too much. Um, we definitely Flamethrower here, which should um, knock this out. And they sack Rillaboom, which is absolutely amazing. We go here into Dragonite. And then uh, Defog, here's the play. So that we get rid of the Hazards, go into Volcanion. Flamethrower once again, and this thing should be dead. I don't even think this is going to live anything. Yeah, there's no way. Good game to you as well. <laughs> Good game. Electivire hitting that Rock Tome on the Volcar, and it was really, really cool to see. Um, did not knock it out, unfortunately, but if it was max special attack, max speed, it would have definitely O-Code it. Um, just not the right uh, set for it. But even then, right, we do like 89, like 90-something percent to it or something, something like that, and then easy to revenge with either Aegis Lodge, Shadow Sneak, or Volcanion, which is like, it takes less damage from the bulkier sets. So easy to revenge with either of those. So Electivire did the job well, I feel. Um, and something I noticed uh, was, we do have Earthquake with a grassy terrain. I don't know if um, Earthquake's gonna be worth running. I think maybe swapping it out will be the play for Fire Punch. Now, if I think about it, what does this help us do and what does it not help us do? So this helps us beat Ferrothorn, Kartana, etc. Yeah, it could be good versus those. And then... Because then, because we have Grassy Train if we bring it in, right? Earthquake won't be doing that much. Let's try this out. Maybe. Oh, well, I guess Heatran could be a problem, right? Is there another move that we could run that gets that bypasses Grassy Terrain? Stomping Tantrum is an interesting option, actually. Hmm. Could be an option. 
or cross chop. Maybe we do cross chop. Oh, it, it should get other moves, right? Hammer arm. Ah. <laughs> nice hammer arm. Does he get anything else? No close combat, nothing. We could even go uh, brick break to break through screens. Could be interesting. And it should do a decent amount of heat trend as well. 75 versus 100 and no misses, right? So, um, let's try Brick Break for now. Let's try Brick Break. I think it has some potential. Maybe less potential here. Because we got Tapu Coco to deal with. Team Loop looks dope. Oh dang, all these people joining now, that's crazy. That is indeed crazy. So we got the Landorus lead. And immediate steam eruption here will be the play to knock it out in one hit. I don't know, all these people are joining now. So we got thumbnail text all over. Just what you love to see. All kinds of thumbnail text. I'm going Aegis Slash here because, you know, they go right for the fighting move probably. Yep. Easy Shadow Ball. Blaziken's dead now. So that's gone. <laughs> this guy already left. Are you famous? <laughs> I'm just gonna ask him. Are you famous? Nice, nice. Don't tell him. <laughs> Definitely super famous. Nice. Um, so we have close combat. I'm just gonna go right back in Age Slash here, I guess. Should be the move. Yeah, good game. So, a lot of thumbnail text there for sure. Just what you love to see uh, with that one. Um, very nice overall. But I'm not convinced with Brick Break. I don't think I'm as convinced. <laughs> I feel like, it, because we need this thing to check other electrics, right? We need to keep Earthquake, and then we just gotta make sure that we don't run into any scenario where Grassy turns up when we need to be electrics. But I'm sure it'll do enough damage anyways. I'm just gonna switch it back. It's the whole process of trial and error. Like here, for example, Earthquake is just so much better. It hits Volcanion. Well, even though we have the electric move, it hits um, Magnezone and also Blacephalon. So there are options for us. I think we just lead off with our Electivire as Tapu Fini is the lead. And there's no electric switch in. So I might as well just Thunder Punch here. Rillaboom comes in. That's fine. It could be Banded. I don't want to stay in to find out, so I will... He might knock here too. The U-turn out. Okay, cool. So it's definitely Choice Banded. 100%. Dragapult's in. That's an Umbreon switch for us. Dragon Darts. Ooh. So this Mon's a threat. I'm going to protect to find out what he goes for. It's going to be a Whirlpool set. Ah, I see. I see. Okay. In that case, what do we want to do? I think we want to go, um, Volcanion. As Magnezone comes in, we go Electivire here on the potential electric move. Yes, indeed, we get the speed boost as well. Just what you love to see. Okay, so then, I wanted to think I don't have coverage for this, but I do, you know? Like, I actually do. He keeps you turning out. I want him to see all my coverage and then go Rillaboom every single time. We gotta get him comfortable, right? This is just training, we're just training his mind. We're conditioning him, is, is the word I'm looking for. Umbreon here, and then we wish. Let's 
Dragon Darts won't knock me out. And then let's just go ahead here and... Well, we have to protect. They go right for the sub. Should not matter too much, I think, if I just go... Um... Is it sub body press? Hmm. So at this point, I go Dragonite. Yeah, sub iron defense is what I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's Earthquake. Let's do it again. There's only a 24 now. I think we just roost. And then... Definitely going to be an issue, right? So we get a Shadow Ball off on something now. Hopefully this Magnezone. Sacrifices sometimes must be made for the greater good. Yeah, weakening that is just totally, totally worth it. Um, Electivire like come through, my friend. I'm gonna see if I can knock this out with Earthquake here. Probably should be able to. I mean, it's already pretty much dead anyways. And I don't think he's going back to Rillaboom. To save this Magnezone, which is, I don't think it's going to be that useful. Can't sub anymore. Yeah, gone. Okay, so that Pokemon's dead. Electivire going to come through for that. And then what's coming out next? Let's find out. I want to say Rillaboom's coming out once again. Kind of safe to say. Yep, it is. So back to Dragonite we go. Now, I definitely think that our own Rillaboom can put in a lot of work, potentially, as well. So Tapu Fini comes in here, we just go right back into Electivire, and then just Ice Punch here is the play. So this time we do hit the Rillaboom for some damage. I'm the Thunder Punch here though. <laughs> he might think I'm banded. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yo, get the damage though. Get the finest and the cleanest of damage. Just what I love to see. I'm just gonna attack here because I want I want the recovery back. He goes really boom. Potential par potential paralysis. You know that's gonna be bad for him. I'll definitely just thunder punch again. Yeah, there we go. Nice. So that Pokemon is gone, and Electivire knocks out both Magnezone and Tapu Fini. Magnezone, of course, we had help from Dragonite, or from uh, Age of Slash, I should say. Electivire knocking it out, which is beautiful. Clean. Tapu Fini gone. Now, Dragapult's back. We go Umbreon here. And now we definitely foul play, because if this thing is gone, we are putting in the work with... All the other stuff. This is a protect here to get some extra additional health back. And because they're going to U-turn, we're going to go right into a Mon that threatens them immediately. I guess Dragonite, right? Dragonite kind of just puts in the work right now. It definitely puts in a lot of work here. And so we have also a full HP Volcanion, by the way. Keep in mind, we have full HP... Nice Volcanion. Uh, I don't know what this is going to do, but I think we can live any hit. I can just roost here. And because now I'm Choice Scarf, I kind of like that. Not faster than it, though. So these Shadow Balls this time. I think we Earth Power here. Seems kind of safe. Do they go really boom is the question? Nope, they get knocked out. So that Pokemon is gone. We save this for the uh, water immunity. Yeah, really boom's back. We go uh, Dragonite. And they're gonna go Volcanion. Literally can just click Roost. They Sludge Wave. Don't know if they're locked into it, though, is the question. I 
just want to do it a few times just to see if they switch, switch up any moves. So I'm not burnt, which is actually fine. Just regular poisoned. Alright, so Sludge Wave once again. I think we just go... Yeah, I guess we go Umbreon. Yeah, so they do have Earth Power. And I'm gonna wish... And heal! <laughs> and heal myself. My child is back. I just decided to put oh I, I I could protect again for a second there I forgot I couldn't could do that um you turn let's go Dragonite so let's roost go Umbreon Volcanion here nice and healed and then I think he's faster than me so back to Umbreon we go and then we wish And then we go Volcanion this time. Yeah, there we go, there we go. So he's not locked in, we Earth Power here. Doing clean amounts of damage. And gone. Maybe we have more speed on it, and that's GG. So Electivire put in a lot of work in that game. Knocking on Tapu Fini, knocking on Magnezone, putting on some pressure. It's exactly what you love to see from a Pokemon like this. So three games uh, putting in work with Electivire, except for that one, uh, <laughs> thumbnail text game. I mean, it's good. We have thumbnail text. It's gonna go in the thumbnail and Hopefully they all see that In the end So we have here uh, An interesting tea tarty. Uh, hello <laughs> Hi <laughs> Ah, okay, okay Hmm, gonna be interesting, this one will. Let's see. I will be leading with uh, Volcanion here. They might lead immediately with Nidoking, but and for all I know, this could be Banded Titar. Could be interesting. I'm extremely weak to Volcanion, indeed. I will not lead with it though, just in case. I'm gonna lead actually Aegislash here. Gonna lead Aegislash and I think it would be safe for me to go uh, Dragonite. And I think that's Banded. Banded Kartana. So I'm going to um, double the Aegislash here on Slowbro. Nice. And all we gotta do now is close combat, I think. Or I guess Shadow Ball as well. Yeah, close combat. Nice. So we made the play and almost eliminated this thing. I could probably eliminate it now with another one. So they go Corviknight, nice. They're definitely going to U-turn here, so what we do is we want to go, um, what do we want to go into? Probably Electivire could work. Not sure what their Nato King set is though. If it's faster than me or not, if it's timid or not, I'm not sure. Because they're definitely going to switch out here. So we go Electivire. But we got a, a lot of damage on the on the T-Tar, which is amazing because now we could open up um, all our Shadow Balls to just keep clicking one after the other. So we made a really good play at the beginning there. Surprised it didn't knock it out though, which is kind of crazy. So Kartana is back. Um, hmm. What do we do right now? I think we just go Dragonite. As they go Nidoking, that gives us Umbreon now as the switch, which you already know. I mean, Umbreon is just fantastic as a Pokemon. It's just so good. But they go Corviknight. So we get two Wish up here. And we can now heal up one of our other Pokemon, which is amazing. Going to be amazing for us. So Titar's in. We just, um, I think Foul Play here is the play. And gone. Yep, so that's great. Goodbye to Tyranitar. It was a really good play on the Age of Slash that we made there. 
Really nice. Let's protect to see what he wants to go for or lock himself into because we know it's banded. I think it should be banded. Knockoff kind of did a lot. Leaf Blade here, so we get to go um, for the wish. Yes, indeed. And I think we just go right into Aegislash here. As they teleport out, so we get a little health back. A little nice little chip health. So I'm not sure if the Corvin is Brave Bird or Body Press. We're going to figure that out eventually. But if it's Body Press, then I think also um, Rillaboom can win too. So they Earth Power here. Let's just go ahead and Wish. And Protect. See what he locks himself into once again. And so it's going to be Sacred Sword. Uh, so we are going to go um, Age of Slash here and just go right back to Umbreon. I think is our best course of action. Lose nothing by it. So the Earth Power again. It's kind of doing some damage though, unfortunately. Like that's, I think that's modest. It looks to be modest to me. So they sub, that's whatever. All I gotta do is get healthy first. Sub Earth Power, Sludge Wave, Ice Beam. And it's gonna be modest, I think. That that damage looks to be modest to me. Which means Electivire can be faster. So that'll be nice. So let's wish up here. I'm gonna burn a few more uh, of these Earth Powers. I have plenty of wishes uh, that I can make. So here I'm just gonna go Dragonite. Very nice. Now we get the upper hand. I can go into um, Aegislash here. Or I can Ice Beam, actually. Uh, I should have gone Age of Slash. I think it would have been a good play. But that's okay. Let's go Umbreon. Force him back out real quick. So I'm actually going to make an interesting play. Watch this. I'm going to make an interesting play here. First we're going to protect with this Mon. And it goes for knockoff, right? I immediately am going to go Age of Slash here. The heck? No. I thought he was going to switch out. I thought he was going to switch out there. No. <laughs> My Pokemon. It's fine. Meanie. I did not expect him to stay in. Now he's like, because we, we've played like seven times or eight times on the ladder, and he beat me once through hacks, and he, I beat him all the other seven times, so that's why it's like, he, he can read my mind now. But I think I can win this as long as I have Umbreon. It should be fun. Yeah, it is mean. It is mean. But you know I'm gonna win in the end with uh, Electivire. Now that he just he gave me he gave me Kartana, like he weakened that Pokemon for me, so it is gonna be I think an Electivire game. I'm pretty sure. Um. Yeah, let's definitely protect here. I'm definitely foul playing this time. Yeah, nice. I'll just do it again. Of a knight. Okay, let's wish. So Bandit Kartana is not gonna knock me out in one. Like no way. I could probably heal up Electivire here. And then we can click um we get Thunder Punch to be safe. And I know he's modest. I know he's modest. I'm gonna I'm just gonna earthquake here. This thing is 100 percent modest. Just knock this mon out of like Devire, please. Yep. Gone. <laughs> exactly. Just what I like to see. So Nidoking is gone. That's a beautiful, beautiful thing. 
uh, to see. So like I think it's this major offensive presence, except for Kartana, of course, which I'm going to definitely go uh, Dragonite here. And just Roost, get my multi-scale back in order. I try to make some great plays and I threw away the game, <laughs> pretty much. Try to make some great plays. I lost my all my offensive presence, I, I pretty much lost. Um, So here, I think we are definitely... I don't know what set the Zero Aura is going to be, but I am going to foul play. Yeah, it's doing a lot for him. Nice. Um, don't see an item. I think I should be fine. I don't think a plus one knocks me out. Yeah, nice. I don't know why he gave me all that damage, but I'll take it. That's my boy, Guardian, the Guardian Arcanine himself. Okay, here we're definitely going to um, protect to get back to full. I think is what we do. Yes, he does have Smart Strike. I know he does. I figured that would be his fourth move. Which is going to be dangerous, of course, but sometimes you got to do what we got to do, right? Now we get to wish up Electivire. Okay, now Electivire has to come through because it knocked out Nidoking. It's gonna do some other fun stuff here. So let's definitely just um, Thunder Punch. It's gonna be a 2 hit KO on this thing. Actually, I'm going to um, I'm gonna Rock Tome first. Now I'm gonna uh, Thunder Punch here. Okay, so it does 45. That's good, that's good. Good damage indeed. All I have to do is... Um, so he's Body... Uh, U-Turn... Roost Body Press. This means that Rillaboom will win this game. Um, I'm pretty sure it will. Almost certain it will. So zero, oh, z wait, Zero Aura is in. Um. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. 333 HP. <laughs> Let me guess, it's Chinese. <laughs> ah, let's go. This is a funny game though. I, l I like this game. <laughs> I like this game a lot. Not for my two plays that I made where I sacked two... I gave him two months, you know. I had to give him a little handicap. You know, I had to give him a handicap right there. Um, if I go Dragonite, that should be fine. Um... Yeah, should be fine. So smart Strike is, is the smart play, of course. All I do is Ice Beam here. Now I just uh, Roost. <laughs> Corvin, I can come back in all at once. Rillaboom's gonna win in the end, I think. So we just, uh, we go Umbreon here. U turns out. Kartana is in. Let's just Safe Protect. And Foul Play. Just attack me, bro. Just finish. Just finish this Umbreon off. You're not gonna. You're not gonna knock me out. You. You won't be knocking me out anytime soon. Okay, let's wish here. So it's teleport, future sight, probably scald, and something else. This is brave play. Is was it brave though? I mean, it's an Umbreon. <laughs> it is an Umbreon. Imagine if I wished up my Electivire. That'd be crazy. I'm just clicking foul play again. Yeah, goodbye. And that's gonna be game. <laughs> Remember, my Umbreon is the greatest. Oh, you said of all time. So this is the body press there. All I gotta do is wish. This should not knock me out, and protect. GG. I'm gonna give you a little smile. Good game. Very fun game. <laughs> Very fun game overall. I like that one. And we got thumbnail text too, which is always what you love to see. And I think that's a great spot to end this video off. But before we do, I think you know what time it is. 
it's time for the replays. And as you can see here, we have our first one that I want to show you all, which is up against this uh, Coco Lucha squad. So definitely looks pretty powerful. And the reason I want to show you this is because, as you know, of course, Tapu Coco being an electric type Pokemon is uh, going to, of course, have a tough time muscling past AV um, Motor Drive from Electivire. So let's see what happens. I immediately leave Volcanion, go Dragonite to scout for a potential banded Woodhammer or something. They go for knockoff, which is fine. We can just go right for the Roost to get back to full health. And because we're at full health, Garchomp can't knock us out with anything. You get to go right for the Ice Beam as we dodge a Toxic, which is pretty cool. But this is just going to be like a regular Stealth Rock set. They get up rocks, they do their thing, Garchomp goes down. That definitely opens up Electivire a little bit, so... What we're going to do here is just immediately defog, I think is what we, yeah, what we do here, yeah, exactly. Because we want to get the rocks off of the fields for all the other mons on the team. I go for the roost thinking that they might U-turn or something, but they go right for the Dazzling Gleam here. I'm going to go Age Slash as they Dazzling Gleam once again. This is basically another knockout, like look at this, right? No switch ins to this move. So they go Rillaboom and Rillaboom is of course Rilla doomed, almost. <laughs> I'm surprised it tanked that, which is kind of crazy. So we go Dragonite here, once again, they go for knockoff, I think I just Roost, as they knock off again, they go Clef this time, I get back to full health, and of course, as you already know, Aegislash Slash gets to come back in, Calm Mind doesn't matter to us because we have Flash Cannon, which is going to do a lot, not going to knock it out in one, but it's going to do a lot, Flash Cannon, oh, never mind, it knocks it out, I forgot, <laughs> I forgot the crit happened, but, like, it would have knocked it out to a point where Electivire can revenge, so that really does not matter, now we get the Motor Drive with Electivire, we go right into it, Get the boost here. That's, now, this is how Earthquake comes in handy. Earthquake on the Tapu Koko. I go out for the Ice Punch, just in case they go Rillaboom or something like that. They want to make use of their terrain, I assume, because of their Electric Seed, not Grassy Seed. Close Combat Live on 1. That is the Chinese HP right there. 333 HP like we showed in the last battle that we just had. Knocking out the Halucha. Knocking out Coco Lucha. Electivire knocked out both Coco and Lucha. That's crazy. Um, absolutely. And then we just... It's just a matter of time before... They forfeit. So that's one one replay I want to show you all. The other replay I want to show you all is a rain team. Now, of course, Electivire, very good versus rain, but they got Swift Swimmers, they got the ground type Pokemon. You know, it's, it's going to be tough for Electivire to muscle through these kind of other mons, but let's see what happens. So they lead Pelipper, we lead Volcanion, because of course the Steam Eruption is going to be going, going through. Like, it's going to be hitting this up for um, a lot of damage. So 39, so this is full Spidef. This is a full Spidef Ferrothorn. I know this for a fact. Um, Gonna try to do as much damage as possible. We knock it out here. They just want to get up a round of spikes, but we get to defog pretty much. Now they go Zapdos here. I decide to go right into Electivire, thinking they might go right for maybe a Thunder or something. They just Hurricane, but Hurricane does 21. Power of AV right here. I go for the Ice Punch so I can chip down the Seismic a little bit because I know that's the only thing standing in the way of Electivire. Then they go Dragonize, they get Rocks up. I get the Defog here as they go Bear Scuda, and they flip turn. I basically just Roost back up and go Umbreon here on the... Zapdos Hurricane. And we can tank these hits for days. This is an easy, like, you know, wish and, and whatnot. So, pretty easy to do that. Now, I actually wish up into Electivire here, which I think is pretty cool. They go back to Seismitoad. I go right for the Ice Punch once again. You know, keep clicking that Ice Punch is what I gotta do because they have a lot of things that are gonna be uh, weak to Electivire once this is gone. Now, they're actually Life Orb with Weather Ball. And so they go for it again. I just Roost. Electivire is going to be able to knock out Simon's with like an Ice Punch later on now at this point in time. So I go I just go hard Electivire because we already wished it back up, right? The Hurricane and um, we can now just go right for the Ice Punch once again. Oh, sorry, I Rock Tome here. I Rock Tome here because um, if they go for an attack, they're dead. Um, so here I just go back into Volcanion. Then I go right back into Electivire here as they Thunder and they give me the speed. This was their last mistake, right? Because they go hard Pelipper. <laughs> And I Thunder Punch, bringing in the Pelipper right into the Electric type. That's what I love to see, always. Now Bearskid is in, it's only a matter of time before we stop them. They go this, I think I think this is where they forfeit. I think this is, has to be where they forfeit, right? No, they don't. Okay, so I just turned the timer on. Probably they're thinking a while. Oh, code the Zapdos. And yeah, this is where they forfeit, exactly. So another really, really fun replay with Electivire to show you all there. Because Electivire, even though they have the ground type, I love Electric type Pokemon that have ice coverage because... Or like good ice coverage that's usable for their stat because then you get to pressure ground types a bit you know you get to at least have that move when they switch into it so that you weaken things and it worked really well in that rain game weakening the seismic so that it could just thunder punch the full hp 
uh, Pelipper on the switch and switch it, switch right into the electric type Thunder Punch and got destroyed. Um, that's what I like to see, but that's gonna be it. So like I said in the beginning of the video, uh, let me know in the comments your favorite evolution from a Pokemon that was from Gens 1 to 3 and uh, evolved like after after that. That was what I'm trying to say. Because um, I'm a big fan of whenever they like take an old Pokemon from the from the old days and, and they give it something new, like an evolution. They did that a lot in Gen 4. And then we saw some in, I think, Gen uh, 6 and like uh, onward or something. We, we, got, we got a couple more. Got some for Legends Arceus too, I think, which was pretty fun. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoyed Electivire. Electivire was crazy good in this video. Like it put in so much work and we got thumbnail text too, which is always a win in my book. So yeah, that's going to be it for me. So I'll see you all on the next one. Peace.